Arena Sun, welcome back. That's right, we're diving back into Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Oh, yeah, I, I am positive this was the first Ace Attorney game I'd ever played on the channel. I had been playing it through an emulator on my computer so that I could screen record the computer and give it to you guys. And now I've got a whole new mic set up. I have actually got a capture card, which we're not using now because this is on the mobile device. That's right. We're actually doing the phone capture from my phone. Unlike what I have to do for Prince of Tennis, this one just uses my normal device. So this is going to work out great. Also, it's going to sound so much better. It's going to look so much prettier because, oh my God, the graphics are so much better. And they've improved on the one thing that I really disliked about Apollo Justice's setup, which was uh, the typeset. It was so annoying, and I hated it. And it was, it was like, why did you do this? And I don't know if any of the other Ace Attorney games are like this setup or like Apollo Justice's setup. If they're like this setup, I definitely tell you go go buy all the mobile versions. It's cheap, it's easy, you can always play them, and it's fun. Plus, who, why not support Ace Attorney? Because the more you support Ace Attorney, the more likely we're going to be getting new games in the future. Um, I'm very happy with how this looks. I love, 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 love Capcom wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge for a 3DS version of this. Like, you gave me Apollo Justice, Capcom. Give me Investigations 1 and 2 as actual 3DS ports and I would be in love. Give me them as Switch ports and I would be eternally grateful. Give me like a whole collection and I, I will adore you, please. Anyway, guys, we're going to actually dive back into this. We're starting from the very beginning because it's so much better updated. You guys can hear me a lot better and I just like doing it this way because this way is so much easier for me. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> March 14, 1 16 a.m. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. To make sure the defendant is found guilty, what other choice do I have? That's the job of a prosecutor, after all. That, that may be, but be true, but why? Why go this far? Sorry, maybe I wasn't clear enough, but a guilty verdict is all that matters to me. No matter what the cost. Oh, it's so much more chilling when it's in HD. I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. But that's a horrible line to end up on there. Always have been, always will be. Alrighty. Yeah, leave my screen, please. I don't need to know about you. March 14, 2.05 a.m. Prosecutor's building. 12th floor hallway. Ah, I love the music. So nostalgic. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Hold on one minute, guys. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize it was on skip dialogue for some reason. It's hard to it's hard to believe that I've been away from my office for a whole month. Gumshoe has been keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. All right, 
Alrighty, I think I got, I think I've adjusted it enough that you guys can hear me more than the music. Hopefully. The door is unlocked. Oh, that's creepy. Who's been in my office? Detective Gumshoe. Hmm? What's this smell? It's very familiar. Blood? Oh my god, we found a body! Look at that pixelated shock! What? What the? Oh god. What's the meaning of this? Identify yourself! Shut up! Hmm. You've got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office! Oh my goodness, what the hell? I didn't press anything, I'm sorry guys. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I, I do apologize for that, guys. I, I didn't press any buttons. I wasn't even touching the screen, and yet it started skipping the dialogue again, which I don't like. Uh, I don't like at all. The, 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 the positive thing is you didn't miss any context because we're about to give you all the context in the world. But I, again, I do apologize for that. Um, but this is already the... Uh, third time I'm recording this <laughs> so I, I don't really want to try to re-record this again and I work as a prosecutor in my local district little did I know that upon my return home after a month abroad I would be thrust into a multitude of cases and some very frantic and busy days March 14, 2.56 a.m. High Prosecutor's Office. Sis, room 1202. I'm finished photographing the victim's body, sir. Very well. Please continue your investigation. Yes, sir. I love how we're finger tapping our arm. Da, 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 da. Ah! Mr. Edgeworth, sir, are you okay, sir? Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. But when I heard that a murder had taken place in your office, I ran up here straight away. This is Dick Gumshoe. He is a detective with the local pe pe has Penedict. Penedict. I think. I think that's how you say it. Sorry. Sorry, Gumshoe. And the one they assigned to handle the this murder case for the time. You're looking a little pale, sir! Are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine. However. They 
did to your office! It's totally trashed! All set. The culprit sullied my floor with the dirt rather than well. No one gets away with chucking mud into my office. That's not the thing I would focus on in this situation, Andrew! I'd say nobody gets away with a murder in my office! Nobody gets away with stealing in my office! Nobody gets away with shooting in my office! Not not dirt! Don't don't even try to bring up the cleanliness of the dirt. That's stupid, Miles. Whoa! It sounds like you're getting really burned up over this whole thing. This crime was committed in my office, so it's my responsibility to solve it. Ho oh, oh, ho! That's just like you, Mr. Edger! Okay, time to do some investigating! Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant facts and leads. Bum bum bum! The best part about this game! We must not overlook anything, no matter how small, if we are to find the truth. So, I'll keep any leads or information we find etched in the forefront of my mind. Speaking of those things that pique my curiosity, why of all places did the murder occur in my office? That is a very, very important thing. Crime scene, my office. Is it really co coincidence that the murder took place in my office? Logic, everybody! Logic! I love how I drew this one the only people who use logic in this room. Hmm. I get the nagging feeling that this is something important to keep in mind. No shit, Sherlock! It's very important! Crime scenes are important! Ugh. Yeah, I was wondering that myself, sir! I mean, you can't really say it's just a coincidence, can you? No, not really. Especially because of the... this. <gasps> the key to the office, Damn it! The key to your office? For security reasons, this office door has a lock built into it. No shit, Sherlock! It's a public building, why would it not have a lock built in? A lock in it. What do you mean, sir? Gumshoe, gumshoe, don't, don't be a gumshoe. <laughs> I love the puns. If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Logic? By finding the connection between two pieces of information and connecting them, new information is born. That is the end result of using logic. So how do you use it? First, I recall information through the logic button, and then connect them together. Now, to touch the logic button and recall the facts. Bum bum bum! Logic! 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 <laughs> I love how updated this screen looks. For security reasons, all prosecutors' doors are outfitted with locks. I don't like how slow the text types, but it, it's still so much better than the stupid text in Apollo Justice. It is. I'm sorry, guys. It is so much better than Apollo Justice's text. Which means it would have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Ergo, it's impossible to dismiss the location of this crime as a mere coincidence. Yes! That's exactly what I was thinking! Sir! There must be a reason why someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? Why did this happen to my office, damn it? 
That's the question of the day! You're really on the ball today, sir, Mr. Edgeworth. That's some beautiful logic, sir. Yes, well... When you follow the lead to the conclusion, only the truth remains. However... If the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray far from the truth as well. But if I think carefully before piecing the two leads together, the logic should flow. Well, let's get started with our investigation, shall we? Yes, sir! Begin investigation! High Prosecutor's Office. 1202. The basis of any good investigation is to examine everything, sir. I know that. And when I want to examine something, I simply touch the examine button. Oh, if you ever feel lost in one talk, just touch the partner button. L like I'm gonna do that. I'll give you great precise advice as an ace investigator. <sighs> something to try later if I have free time, I suppose. Obviously. I'm gonna go to the body first. They finished photographing the body, so it should be alright to examine this area. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. What do we have here? Hey, I think I've seen one of those before. Sherlock, I'd hope you've seen one of these before! God! It's a police badge, Detective. Oh, hey! I have the exact same thing, actually! What a coinky dick! Let's take a look inside. Mr. Buddy Faith, it would appear that our victim was a detective just like you. Information and logic! Alright, now we want... Like, come on. I want the bullet. I want my wound. Let's see here. There's blood all over his lower abdominal abdominal area. It looks like the bullet passed passed clean through his stomach area, sir. That's my bad. I wasn't realizing we switched characters. In other words, he was shot. Oh uh, yeah. Y yeah. No shit. Yep, and until the autopsy's done, I don't think we'll know much more than that. I'd like to know if he was shot with his own gun, please. Please have the body sent to the morgue once they're done processing the crime scene. Crime scene notes jotted down in my organizer! Thank you. Are you gonna be okay with keeping track of the evidence we find, sir? Yes, I am, Gumshoe! Don't question me! I am Miles Frickin' Edgeworth! Ace Prosecutor! The only person who's allowed to beat me in a courtroom is Phoenix Wright. End discussion. Go walk away. Go walk away with your tail between your legs, okay? Of course. This is the safest way I know to keep track of it all. Alright, if you say so! I keep all the evidence I find either in or with my organizer. When I want to re-examine a piece, I have to but touch the organizer button. But the organizer isn't the only, only for evidence. I keep people's profiles on hand in it too. It's probably a good idea to make a habit of checking the facts often. are all over the floor, sir! They probably fell during the struggle between the victim and his killer. Oh, and I tried so hard to keep the place spotless while you were away! I mean, this just rendered all that time and effort I put in pointless! 
I don't recall ever asking you to clean my room. I I'm sorry? What were we talking about at the beginning? Well, I wired the flowers every day just like you requested, sir. I just added cleaning to the list as weekend specials. As a weekend special. For about half the day every Saturday, I'd come in and clean this place until it sparkles! Does he have a life? No, no, he does not have a life, Mr. Edgeworth. Murder weapon? If so, it would mean that the killer made their escape after disposing of their gun here. I think I see one of the I think I've seen one of these before. Hmm. Care to enlighten me as to where? I I would hope it's the gun he should have on his person as a police officer! Oh! I know! I was issued the exact same model! I think. Dun dun dun! <sighs> Detective. I don't really like guns all that much. I mean, they're really dangerous! But now that I think about it, you do see this model around the. Benedict a lot, sir. I don't use mine much, except in emergencies, so that's why I didn't recognize it. So, it's the same type of revolver as the one used by this Benedict's detective. Someone tell me if I'm saying that wrong, please. There's no D in it, so I don't feel like it should be pronounced Benedict. But at the same time, I'm, I'm so confused on how I can say it. Hmm. I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. No shit, Sherlock! Now, call me you some more to figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Logic! Logic, logic, logic! We want the victim as a detective! And we want the revolver because God knows the only way this guy's gotta have a gun. Connect the dots! We're connecting the dots today! And using logic to light the way! The revolver! The standard model used by detectives! Could it have belonged to our recently departed? Detective Gumshoe! Could you please thoroughly check the victim's body one more time? Yes, sir! On it now, sir! Excuse me, pal! Let's see, what have we got here? Mr. Edgeworth, sir! This guy's wearing a gun holster! Hmm, so it appears that our killers somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. Victim's revolver data at shut down in my organizer! Bum bum bum! Let's see what else we can find out about this revolver. As I always say, you gotta look really carefully at each piece of evidence. You can use the scroll wheels to rotate an object. There's no such thing as a bad angle. Oh, there, there's a lot of things as a bad angle, trust me, don't you? Use the slide bar to zoom in and out and get in the nitty gritty. Killed the Vic with just one shot after wrestling the gun from him? Sounds like the guy knew how to handle a gun, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? We have no proof of that for now, but it is a distinct possibility. I guess this is about all we're going to find out. 
we should send the body to not Jim. Why, oh why? How oh, could this have happened to a guy like you? Da 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 da. Are you all right? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Just let me be! Over dramatic much, Mr. Murderer! Sorry, but I can't do that. The investigation is still ongoing, so please refrain from touching the body. The body? The body? Don't talk about him like he's some lump of flesh! I'm sorry, I'll talk about him all I want like he's some lump of flesh! Because unfortunately at the moment he dead I'm trying to find his killer, Mr. Killer! Wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge! Look at him! Jim looks like he's just turned in for the night! Oh, you poetic little soul. Um, sure. Just in a blood-stained suit, pal. Where are my manners? I don't know! Aren't you that prosecutor? That's, that's a fine thing to describe, Miles. Why, yes, I am! I'm Jack Sportman, prosecutor. Jim here was my partner in crime. Busted. I'm Miles Edgeworth, and like you, I am also a prosecutor. Detective Dick Gumshoe! So, you're Miles Edgeworth. I guess this is your office? Yes, that is correct. Then it was you! You're the one who killed Jim! Hey, don't go around jumping to conclusions, pal! Just calm down, okay? I will not! I know how things work around here! Hi, prosecutor's office! Doors all have locks built into them. And only the owner of the office has the key to his or her own office door. That is correct. However, I was not the one who killed your partner. The tension is so high, you can tell because the music likes changing. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth has been overseas on a business trip this whole time, pal. And the key to the door was with me the entire time, okay? Oh, gumshoe. Oh, gumshoe. You don't say shit like that. You don't say shit like that. So the only one who couldn't get in here was me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, gumshoe. Wait, wait. That means... I'm not sure what that means. Gumshoe, gumshoe, gumshoe. So it was you then! You're Jim's killer! No way, pal! You got it all wrong! Everyone calm down! I mean it right this moment, everybody calm down! Because I'm the only one allowed to exaggerate around here when I'm talking with multiple voices in my head. I'm sorry. Mr. Portsman, correct? If you are the re a real prosecutor, you should know to stay collected. The investigation has only just begun. Isn't it too early to be drawing conclusions? Wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge, Mr. Murderer! God, why do the murderers always have to get involved with my investigations? I mean, it's great for finger pointing, but uh, at the same time, you're like, why are you involved? All right, I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little too hot-headed sometimes. You sure are one cool customer, though, Mr. Edgeworth. da 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 What the hell do you mean, mister? I've heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. Okay, so, so when did it change from me being the demon prosecutor to me being the genius prosecutor? I'd like to know this change, when this happened, how this happened, and 
why this happened. Because I, I, I think I think most of the prosecutor's office should still be thinking of Miles as the teaming prosecutor. Because that's what he is if he's not facing Phoenix. Uh, but with, I, I don't know. You're something of a legend, you know. Anyway, let's call a truce and work together, okay? Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Um, how about no? A pleasure to work with you. You see, you see he's got his hand down like he wants that handshake up there, and Miles is just like, I'm sorry, I'm not touching your hand if it was the last thing on earth. Go, go walk away. You guys were conducting your investigation, right? Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on then, it's your room after all. Thank you, I intend to, because God do I intend to do shit. I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. Fine by me, Mr. Portsman. You there! <laughs> I want you to capture this scene on film for me. My final farewell to my partner, Jim. Oh, uh, the finger tapping! The finger tapping starting! I'm so done with you! I should probably give them space. Nah. Nah. Come on. Wanna examine the second bullet that shouldn't exist? Ah! Your jacket, sir! What's it doing on the floor? It must have fallen off the wall when the killer tried to threaten me by firing around. Bum bum bum. So the killer not only shot the victim, but they shot your jacket as well? They dared shoot the ultra special jacket that you made your prosecutorial debut in? I don't think I should ever remember that jacket for anything involved in my debut. Like, like, Edgeworth's debut in court was horrible. Both times, technically, they are horrible. The one time we'll see in this game and the one time you see in Trials and Tribulations. They are both, like, the absolute shittiest of shit situations. I wouldn't really hold on to the jacket. I mean, it's pretty. It's sentimental. But at the same time, it's like, oh, miles, 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 miles. I would have just burned that thing after after both of those cases happened. I would have told you, burn the jacket and run. Oh, uh, but he didn't. What if they had shot through it? It would have been a disaster. It's not worth getting worked up over, detective. Not when there's something more here. Huh? Like what? I take it you haven't noticed it yet, Detective. There is a giant contradiction right here in front of us. Really? Yes, yes, my good sir, there's only one round missing from the gun! Did I say contradiction? He must be rubbing off on me. I'm starting to sound like him. But I have my own methods and I will conduct this investigation my way. When the scene before me contradicts a piece of evidence, or seems off, that's where my deductive skills come into play. First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. Ah. Come on, come on. This is it. This is the bullet hole where the contradiction lies. When I spot something that's off, I should touch the deduce button with conviction! Conviction! And when I have found something that's off, right, I proceed. This is how I do things. 
bum bum bum. Present the revolver. This bullet hole co is the contradiction. What do you mean, sir? It's elementary. Two shots were fired in this room. The first fell the victim. And the second fell the spray. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, that's right! However, this gun was only fired once. Hey, that's true too! Which means that one of these two bullets was fired from a different gun. Did the killer have another gun prepared for the night? I doubt it! Why would you leave? Why would you have two guns? And also, he obviously stole the gun from the detective, so that's like the obvious most bullshitty thing ever. Uh, by the way, I noticed something, sir. What did you notice, you guess? What's that thing sticking from behind the frame? Oh, that. It's a secret safe. A secret safe? Oh, I smell money. I'll spare us the trouble and just say it. Nothing like what you're imagining is inside. Now, if you could kindly move this frame out of the way. Roger that! Achoo! Achoo! Talk about dusty! I suppose that's what happens when I'm not here to dust it once in a while. I had no idea there was a safe here, and I have kept it clean for you, sir. So, when did you put this thing in? It wasn't something I had installed personally. Every prosecutor's office has one. Really? I had no idea! Well, only prosecutors are supposed to have knowledge of their existence. So, what's inside, Mr. Edgeworth? Right now? Nothing. Nothing at all is inside this safe. We only use them to store especially important evidence when the trial is in session. Because trials are the last three days, so that, that is probably the safest place for it. That's it? Talk about squashing my hopes and dreams! Secret safe data jumped down in my organizer! I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. That looks suspicious. That thing looks so suspicious, guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's so clean. Hmm. Now this is odd. You found something, sir? This keypad. Don't you find it to be a bit too clean? Yeah. There's a thick layer of dust all around it, but... Not on the keypad itself! You there, the forensic scientist! Yes, sir! Could you please dust this area for fingerprints? You got it, sir! Da 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 I couldn't find, let alone lift, a single print! Looks like it was wiped down well. Oh shit! Okay, who messed with my office? You and me gotta have some words later, buddy. Secret safe data update in my organizer. As I thought. It appears that logic is the only way around this setback. Time to rationally and calmly play connect the dots with information we have. Ah, yes, we gotta connect the dots, people! Oh. Obviously, that's the killer's goal, though. Logic time, buddy! Alright, so the killer's goal... Wipe fingerprints. Connect the dots! I believe I have figured out what the murderer was after. Well, what was it, sir? What is it, sir? The fact that the safe was wiped clean of fingerprints suggests that somebody tried to get in my safe. 
that the criminal had at least attempted to open my safe. Making the culprit's motive for breaking and entering theft, I believe. Bum bum bum. I wonder if knowing that motive behind this break-in was theft changes anything. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge. Changes what the other pieces of information can tell me about this crime. Yes, it does. It changes everything, Miles. Everything. Connect the dots. There is a possibility that the files splayed on the floor are not the result of a struggle between the victim and his killer. Oh! You mean like it could be from when the killer was tried to find something, sir? Precisely. We need to figure out if any of the files have been stolen. Yes, sir! I'm gonna show files like you've never seen before, even at a library! Um, sure. Let's give that a try. Why do all the good ones always die young? Oh, because people like you kill them. Surely you must ponder that every once in a while, Mr. Edgeworth. No matter how much we lament, the dead will not come back to life. All we can do is search for the truth. Da 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 And so what are we supposed to do? How do we go about finding the truth? Bum bum bum. Well for what? We don't kill people and try to blame other people. First, we probably restore the files to their rightful place. You got it! Here, let me help! Um, so this file goes here, and that book goes there. You sure know a lot about where things go, despite it being Mr. Edgeworth's office. Oh, 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 what are you trying to escape here, buddy? Oh, Mr. Portsman, you in trouble? Because I'm the one who keeps it tidy, pal. Okay, done. Yeah, no, not right. Not right at all. It would appear that the murder was definitely committed here. Oh, the bloodstains on the bookshelf are so fresh. I suspect that the victim was killed in a standing position, hence the prints on the shelf. And then the guy fell to the floor, right? The blood's on the floor. Kind of grossing me out. Detective. I don't have the time to deal with your weak stomach right now. You know I'm no good with blood, sir! I'm certain there's something wrong with this picture. What's wrong is where my blood hole is! So, this is where the bullet lodged itself after winking the victim, huh? For the bullet to be lodged so squarely in the file spot. Indicates that the files were ransacked after the shooting had occurred. They were also ransacked before the shooting had occurred. Boom! Then I guess the victim was moved because he was in the killer's way? We don't know this, detective. Somehow connect any of the evidence I hold? Why, yes, yes, it is, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Connected to my crime scene, 
There is clearly a contradiction here with this bullet hole. Ooh, what do you mean, sir? You don't see? Mm -hmm. Quite simply, the bullet hole itself is too low and off to the side. If the victim was shot is in the stomach, the hole should be much higher up. But what if the guy was shot while he was sitting or lying down, sir? That would be like illogical. The victim leaned against the shelf after being shot. Which suggests that he was standing when he was shot. Then that means I... What does that mean, sir? It means you need to use your brain every once in a while instead of mine, detective. In any case, it means someone made a faulty assumption. And it was from this mistake that our current contradiction is What is the faulty assumption that caused this problem with the bullet hole? What is this contrary sig? Oh, it, it, it would definitely be the order of the files. Like, oh, the order of the files. Hello, I, I believe the order of these files is a bit old. You mean I put them back in the wrong order just now? Hey, actually, I think the labels on the files here are wrong, sir. Oh? Yeah. You see, here how the files that were shot begin with the number zero? What are those doing all the way down there after one, two, three? That's really weird. Actually, the, the, the way they are organized now is the correct order. They are exactly as I see them in my mind's eye. Wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge! But the numbers are all out of order. Those white binders are special, so they are arranged a little differently. But from this, we know that the files were not in this order when the crime occurred. Aha! So that's it! I believe the killer made the same incorrect assumption as you just did, Detective. Let's rearrange the files in numerical order and see what you find out. Do you think it'd be okay to prop up the body back up and see how with your four removed? They finished processing the crime scene, so I don't see why it would be. If you please, Detective Gumshoe. As I suspected, the bullet hole is now where it should logically be. The killer went through my files first, before shooting Mr. Fake. And then put the files back in numerical order, I guess? Exactly, and then proceeded to shoot the victim. But why would someone kill a man and then look through your files one more time? Puzzling indeed. The files were thrown into disarray and disarray twice. Once before and once after the crime. But why? Ah, oh, the key question here, buddy. The key question here. Now the crime scene is as it was at the time of the murder. Time to give it another look. There it is! The this! What is that? Why does it say gumshoe on there in blood? Oh, oh gumshoe. Gumshoe. You don't just, just assume that it's all your name when there's a file missing? You have plausible deniability at the moment. Don't even think of it. Just let it go, let it go. I'm not doing you any favors by singing that song. I'd say that's some incredibly incriminating evidence. Yes, indicative of criminal activity indeed. No, wait! There's gotta be some mistake! Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Help me! Say something, sir! It appears that one of my files was stolen. 
wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge. Is that all, sir? What about me and my situation? Is this what the killer was really after? Stolen file data jotted down in my organizer! Because we, we gotta jot down everything in my organizer. <laughs> oh, we're done. We're complete. My investigation complete. Looks like Jim was able to leave us the name of his killer in the end. Oh, screw you, Portsman. And this most important message managed to reach us. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! You can't be terribly pleased to hear that your beloved partner is a, the guilty party. If you are going to accuse Detective Gumshoe of being the culprit, I sincerely hope you have some proof to back it up. I hope so too, buddy! Jim's words... There are more than enough, wouldn't you say? Oh, buddy, you and me, we're gonna have a fight here. If that's how you want to play it. Then at least allow me to understand your reasoning. You got it! Alright, guys! Get into it! Come on, let's have a word battle! I don't like this one bit. There's something strange about this man's attitude. And there must be some sort of flaw in his logic waiting for me to dig it out. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm going to do what I do best! I'm going to break down somebody! What I always do. The prosecutor doesn't cross examine my witnesses! One way or another, I'll expose the flaw in this logic with this technique. Whoa! How do you do that? C can you explain it to me, sir? No, no, I ain't explaining to anything to you. Maybe some other time, buddy. Sorry. Mr. Portsman, if you are ready. Oh. You don't have time. You could have just said so, sir. Fight me, buddy! Fight me! Mr. Portsman's logic. Detective Gumshoe, you stole Jim's gun from him and shot him dead. Further, you messed up the files to make it look like you had committed theft instead. That's when you moved Jim's body that was sitting in front of the bookshelf. But thanks to that, you didn't notice the bloody letters his body was hiding. And it will be by his final words that you will be brought to justice. Oh uh, yeah? Uh-huh? Uh-huh? Wanna bring arguments to me? You intend to argue that the victim's dying message points to his killer. I can hear Jim's voice, and he's calling for his killer's arrest. Yes, yes, he is. Hm. Are you sure you're not mishearing his words, Mr. Portman? Wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge. I'm going to break you down, buddy. There is no way Detective Gumshoe is the culprit here. He's not smart enough. I will find the flaw in this man's logic. <laughs> And expose it with credible evidence. Oh yeah, we're gonna expose this, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's do this. I'm ready to break it down, Mr. Portsman. Ah, uh, this is where you, this is where you are. Quite wrong, Mr. Portsman. Wonder why? 
going away because there's a missing file here that I'm sorry somebody would have admit. Understood. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Edward, you look so pretty. Perhaps you're not aware, Mr. Portsman. But there is a serious flaw to in your logic. Heh, <laughs> bringing a bit of the courtroom into this, I see. No problem, I'm game. I can't help but find it odd. Excuse me? Odd that a fellow prosecutor would be brought down by the power of his own office. What are you talking about? Oh, you're, you're joking, I get it. <laughs> if you have the time to laugh, have the time to take another closer look at the evidence. Do you still not see? If not, may I direct your attention to the missing file? What? That's impossible. Oh, impossible. What's that? Impossible. Mr. Sportsman. Um, uh, nothing. The files on that shelf are all about a certain case. When the killer went to take the file after murdering your partner, I highly doubt they could have missed the bloody letters in the spine. Objection! It's possible that they could have taken the file before committing the murder. Do you not see how that thing is arranged? There's missing letters! Screw you! You need some better logic there! I think it's pretty obvious that the file was stolen after it was removed. The missing letters in, detectives, in the detective's name where the file should be is proof, not for you. Yeah! I mean, the S is gone and there's only half of an H! this case. I highly doubt that even he can overlook his own name written in blood on the files. Especially as a detective who can't stand the sight of blood. Oh, it, just, it doesn't work in favor here for you. <gasps> oh, the face. Which means, what exactly? What does that make this dire message? of a criminal intent on tampering with the crime scene. Oh yeah, Mr. Portman? That's so good! I can't believe the criminal tried to pin this whole thing on me! Sir? I'm gonna get him, sir! You'll see! I'm gonna have them under arrest in no time! Well, Mr. Portman... Absolutely splendid! Logic deserving of an Olympic gold! Okay. I appreciate the praise, but it doesn't change the fact that your reasoning is flawed. Meh! You win some and you lose some. That's how life goes. Glad everyone's so cheery, even though I feel more dead than alive. Ah, but you know... It really is a shame. I really didn't want to have to bring this up. However... Oh? Oh? What you gonna bring up? What is it this time? Are you still after me, pal? Humor me this for a second. Who has the key to this office? Oh! Bring it, douche nozzle! That would be me? But Mr. Edwards just proved that I'm innocent, pal. That's absolutely right. And I acknowledge your innocence. Then why do I sense that you still have something to say? Well, I was thinking, 
Did you know there is one other person with a key to this office? One other person. Hey, you there! Yes, sir! What is it, sir? Would you kindly fetch and escort that lovely young lady here for me? A lady! A lady! The girl is a member of this building security. Think of her as a material witness. S -s security Did you say security? No! Stop it, pal! Don't! What's wrong with him all of a sudden? And here she is, Maggie McBride! I believe she needs no introduction. I have called upon Miss Maggie Bride, a member of security. Your, your simple reasoning. Oh, reason for suspicion. All righty, buddy. It's pretty obvious that Miss Bride snuck into your room using the master key. Ah! It's not obvious at all, buddy. 
I mean, if Detective Gumshoe is the one who opened the door... Then that leaves only Miss Bride as our prime suspect. On top of which, she knows our good detective, doesn't she? Making it all that more probable that she was the one who faked the dying message. So you're saying she used the master key? Master key data put in my organizer! Incredibly incriminating evidence, wouldn't you say? That's what you claimed about the evidence earlier as well! That was then, this is now. The flow of a good match always changes during a rally. It's all about your reflexes and reaction time, especially for an athlete like me. I wonder if there was anyone else other than Miss Bride who could have used the master key. It seems that the only way to get Mr. Portman, Portman to give me more details is to press him. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna press you. Thanks for your reason on suspicion, but screw you. Press, press, press! Hold it! Are you sure Miss Bride is the only member of security who could have used the master key? There is only one person on staff, to this, staff at this time of night, and tonight she is it. Isn't that right, Miss Bride? That's, um, true, but... But I wasn't able to use the master key at the time of the crime, sir. Oh, Miss Bride, why would you... Wasn't able to. What's that supposed to mean? Yes, yes, moving on. I'd hate to get sidetracked by something unrelated. What do you mean unrelated? I want to hear what she has to say, pal! But you can't really trust her not to tell lies. Plus, I hate wasting time. Hmm. Should I hear Miss Bride out? Yes. We should hear everybody out. Not so fast. I too am interested in hearing what Miss Bride has to say. Didn't I just say it be a waste of time? We don't need to hear the lies. I'll be the judge of that. Miss Bride, if you please. Around 1 a.m., sir. What do you mean by missing? As in, it wasn't anywhere in the security booth, sir. The fat killer must have stolen it. Uh, well, that, that's a little bit weak. Mr. Portman, I think this is an important piece of testimony, don't you? Uh, I can't believe that someone like you would get taken in by such words. No, could be totally true! It explained how a killer could have got in my room! I'm not lying, sir! Objection! If that's the case, then I'd like to know why you have the master key now. I... I don't quite know. It just reappeared all of a sudden, sir. A likely story. And where is your proof that the key was stolen to begin with? I bet you just forgot where you put it and then found it again. I never lose things! I can practically guarantee that! With me, if something disappears, it's usually because someone stole it! Yeah, pal! Trust me, you don't want to test just how bad her luck is. Da, 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 da. Unfortunately, I can't deem this piece of testimony as conclusive. 
glad you agree, Mr. Edgeworth. But, but, you still haven't established Maggie's motive for breaking into Mr. Edgeworth's office. Her motive? Didn't we already establish that it was theft? I mean, the culprit clearly went through the bookshelves and at least tried the safe. It was as Mr. Portman's. Portsman says, Detective. I can't ignore the fact that all the evidence points towards a motive of theft. Although it does point away from this lady, because guess what? Who could have known about the safe? But I'm done taking blows. It's time to counterattack with a few facts of my own. Yeah, yeah, you and me, buddy, you and me. You are having problems with the fact that you're not even accepting the hidden shit. Uh, not that one. Not that one. One safe. One safe. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, because sure. that was a secret. <laughs> oh, my dear boy. Do you wish to continue in saying that Miss Bride was set on stealing something? Why not? It's the truth after all. It was also by your logic that we came to that whole thievery conclusion anyway. That may be, but you must also be aware of the fact that these safes are a secret safe. Existence of which is only privy to prosecutors? Wink, wink, hunch, hunch, nudge, nudge! Ah! He's like, oh! Shit! Forgot about that! Oh, damn! I find it a little hard to believe that a hidden safe was part of a cunning plan, man. But. <laughs> but she could have found it by accident while she was turning everything else upside down. I highly doubt that. I'd say the culprit knew exactly what they were looking for. After all, only the bookshelf and the safe were targeted. No, 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 no. Oh, look how nervous you are! You did, buddy. You screwed. Yeah, even I didn't know about that safe pal. And that means there's no way Maggie could have known about it either. But then, are you proposing that the killer is a prosecutor? Ah ha ha, look at him sweat. He's like, oh shit, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. Interesting conclusion! That's definitely looking more and more probable. Wink, wink, I touch that dead I'm gonna get you, buddy! Oh, I love how nervous he is. Like, oh shit, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. I so screwed up. What's wrong, prosecutor? You have a different suspect in mind now? Curses! Why? What made you? Oh, you you can't turn around like that on me. What what's with the angry face all of a sudden? It's it's all my fault! Are you confessing? No, you're not, but I I, I like that it sounds like it for like five seconds. And then I can and then you're gonna screw me and I'm going to have fun breaking you down. <laughs> What do you mean? It's Jim. He knew about the existence of the secret safes. <gasps> what did you just say? We're, we were partners, like inseparable, conjoined twins. That's why I told him. I filled him in on the secret safes. Then that means. Yeah, I know. I had only just.
just told him too. Obviously, it was wrong of me to tell him. Uh, obviously? You're really trying to come up with this flimsy lie on the spot, buddy. I still can't quite believe it, but the thief who broke into your room was probably Jim. Now he's claiming that the victim was the thief. And you were simply trying to stop him, weren't you? Miss Maggie Bride? Excuse me? You evil douche nozzle! Let's do this! I mean, you are a security guard, right? That's your job. But killing is going a bit too far! Even in your risky profession. Risky profession? Screw you, buddy! What the? You're still accusing Maggie of the murder? Yes and no. I mean, she had stumbled upon Jim, who had probably dropped the gun. I get it. It was self-defense, wasn't it? No, I, I couldn't. I could never do something like that. Not even as a security guard, sir. Plus, even if he was a filthy, he wouldn't have the key to this office. Which is precisely why he had to steal it, wouldn't you say? It was Jim who stole the master key! Oh, Jim, Jim just was so horrible. Even the HD, Jim just was like, I am so just a side character to the story. I'm only here to be your entertainment. Sorry, Jim. Sorry you were designed that way. I hope you live in peace, because I'm so gonna find your murderer guilty. Pretty impossible for a supposedly stolen key to be here with us now, unless. Well, unless you retrieved it from Jim after you killed him! Mr. Portman, are you honestly accusing your own partner of being a thief? I don't want to admit it, but it's the only way for everything else to make sense. What's he know? Alma! Now then, I think we're done here. The investigation waits for no man. Would you people be so kind as to see yourselves out? You can't kick us out! This is Mr. Edgeworth's office! Yeah, but it ain't my investigation, unfortunately, is it? Ah, uh, but I'm the one who's been assigned to this case. How fast do these people work on assigning cases? It's still three in the morning at the minimum! How is this moving so fast? You are all suspects to varying degrees and therefore ineligible to run this show. I'm positive Edgeworth ain't, ain't, ain't at all involved somehow because I'm sorry he wasn't even here. Like, I am very positive he didn't even get to this office until 2 a.m., which is after your murder, so go screw yourselves. Da 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 Listen, pal, how many times do I have to say this? Maggie can't be the culprit! Detective Gumshoe, calm yourself. But, but, sir! We have no choice but to accommodate his request. For now. Aha! Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. At least one of you understands. At least one of us is cool, rational, and is so gonna break you down later, buddy. Now then, if you could remove yourselves from my crime scene, I'd be more... I'd be most grateful. <laughs> Mark my words, Mr. Portsman. We will meet again. If that's a formal request from the legendary prosecutor himself, then I suppose so. 
Now, don't disappoint me, you hear? Bum, bum, bum. We are going to save our progress, everybody. So thank you all for joining me today as we start a new adventure into Ace Attorney Investigations again. I am hopefully going to find where uh, my 3DS went in the move so that I can actually record the other games and show you guys some more content. But thank you all for joining me. As you guys can see, we are on our new, brand new end credit screen. Just for this game, we obviously got to have Miles in there. As you can see, on the top is the playlist of episodes. It shouldn't be available from the start, so you might see something else. Uh, but... If you are lucky and joining us very late into this series, you're going to see the playlist for all of the episodes on here, which you can just click and then watch to your heart's content. See me solve mysteries as Miles Edgeworth. That's the point of this game. And if you see that button on the bottom that says recommended above, above it is the recommended video from the 200 videos in my uploads that YouTube has chosen at random for you. I don't know how they do it. I don't get how their algorithm works. I just know it's a video that they think you're going to like. Uh, there's also a little circle on the screen that has my avatar's face. If you click on that if you haven't subscribed to the channel today. Subscribing to the channel allows you to see so much awesome content and also help support us as we continue growing. Uh, it's been wonderful seeing you guys again. It's been wonderful to play Ace Attorney again on the channel. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everyone.